What is up everybody? Just a quick note before we start. This episode is not for the faint of heart. <laughs> Just kidding. But yeah, we do have a lot to cover here. And today, we're going to talk about reptiles, baby. <laughs> okay, so let's jump right into it. So, as you have already guessed, reptile is my favorite class. So, I can say that um, I have a decent knowledge about them and I have climbed the rank ladder with the, with the reptile teams and yeah, let's go ahead and begin. Okay, so the first one here, we have the tri spikers. That's right. We have several up here, like three here and two here, but we'll get over all of them. And now let us begin with the first one. Yeah. This is Fang, my own Axie. <laughs> so we we probably gonna feature a lot of my Axies here because you know I'm breeding lots of reptiles and such. So yeah, let's go. So we have Fang with the Incisor, Tri Spikes, Kotaro, and the Thorny Caterpillar. So let's get over the stats real quick. So here we have a 39 speed reptile. So why? Why are we aiming for 39 speed? It is because of the Kotaro. If you don't know what Kotaro does, you can gain an energy when you are slower than your opponent. So the, the incisor might look um, counterintuitive at first, but you just have to play your cards right. So you can like get value by um, going Kotaro first, then disarming plus the thorny and all the other follow-up damage so yeah uh, there are only like a few reptiles with 39 speed and Kotaro I guess you can even go slower with double plant double plant um, genes for the ear as well and yeah this is a very tough reptile 55 HP with lots of shields yeah that is it for this reptile and let's go for this Crispin <laughs> my scholar named this and this is one of my uh, scholars uh, Axie yeah we have the same set of moves but with snake jar instead so what this does is it that it kind of has less damage than the thorny counterpart but it has that snake jar ability that negates um damage from shield you know what i'm saying i mean <laughs> from breaking the shield <clears throat> so if you guys don't know snake jar works like this so attacks that breaks this axis shield cannot do additional damage so, so for example you only play snake jar then your opponent plays like a dual blade and it crits the other damage the follow-up damage won't go through because of the snake jar ability and yeah it can only trigger once per round so you cannot like spam it or anything just one snake jar and you'll be fine so yeah this is a decent midliner and i forgot to mention that fang is also placed at the midline where they uh, they can stall the game so you can get more cards and energy before entering the late game so now let's move on to our third tri spiker this time though it has that zero cost tail the grass snake which is recently buffed you can see my patch note review up here to the right if you want to see that if you want to see what which cards are buffed or nerfed and something like that but yeah let's so this Axie is a little slow, 41 speed, but that's okay because we need that uh, low speed to trigger the Sarastis. So against like um, Aquas, 
I'm not sure actually how high the damage is because I don't play this card that much. And so you can go like spike throw, Sarastis, double Sarastis and jump, or spike throw, double grass snake, or whatever. Uh, whatever you hit with the back door is gonna be worth it, in my opinion, as long as you're not facing against double yam tanks. So yeah, the grass snake is also important because you can trigger the jump with just two energy with spike throw, grass snake, and Tara uh, I mean jump. So you can disable the enemy like winghorn axi or disable their tri spike as well if they're playing a reptile. So yeah, that is it for this axi. As usual, it has high shields. It is also usually placed in the midline. And yeah, that's it for these three. Now to continue our tri spikers, let us go to this Axie. This one is named Rolling Boy because Wolf of Dam from Axie GG bought this from me. So yeah. So this Axie is 44 speed as you can see. That is very high for a reptile. Because everybody, uh, take note of this. Um, if you are playing a reptile, it is better to have higher speed than enemy beasts. Because beasts can like tear you apart. In four with four cards and it is important to be faster than them so you can either set up the incisor the previous round if you have an axi in, in front or you just have to be faster you know what I'm saying so yeah that should explain it that's why he also wanted this build so we got the tri spike here the chomp uh, this, this is a standard um, allergic build so you got very high shields good very good for the midline and it is also fast very fast 44 speed so my suggestion is at least 42 speed and above should be good and yeah this one can go faster than pure beasts and beasts with 42 and 43 speed as well so next one this is elijah's tri spiker so this is very interesting. I wanted to breed something like this as well, but uh, without luck at the moment. But as you can see, it's pretty slow, but pretty tanky as well with that double plant genes. Um, the thing here is that it has that zero cost card, so it's easier to combo with tri spikes, uh, just like this one, this grass snake guy. It is easier to do that and you know it has high HP and has decent shields so it can be a good midliner it could also be a backliner for, because of that zero cost card but yeah this build is very strong you can also chain this with barb strike uh, axes and yeah that is it for our try spikers let us see what is the next one. Okay, the famous Terminator. Okay, so I have a, a fun fact for you guys. Um, I have a theory why the Terminator reptile or bug is called the Terminator is because, you know, because of that. I think the early variants of this build is always wearing a shades. <laughs> Yeah, they're always wearing a shades. So, when you search for like Terminator um, movie, yeah, you see, you see where the name came from. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, so the Terminator um, reptile, uh, I think the best one should be 42 speed right here, yeah? Or if you don't have the 42 speed, I think it's better to have like plant parts for more HP and tankiness so yeah it's both extremes so the moveset for a terminator is a snail shell tiny turtle lagging and thorny caterpillar uh, termina terminators are excellent backliners because of this card lagging they can slow down the enemy and as well as lagging is a zero cost card which can remove stuns as well and snail shell man so this axi has double stuns and yeah it is very strong but unfortunately for them i'm very confident facing against a terminator because they are quite predictable you know what i'm saying 
So you can guess when we, will they use like a uh, snail double lagging thorny, I, I mean snail double lagging chump or when they will like four cards of everything like snail, uh, mystic, thorny and then chump. Yeah, they're, they're very, very predictable. Okay, so that is the terminator. Uh, shout out to Yang Yujiro, my friend. So yeah, so just saw this terminator from his inventory. Okay, uh, another variant of the Terminator. Wow, this is all bug parts. I didn't notice that. So this one, instead of a chump, it has cute bunny, which is very devastating as well. Um, there's a player in the top 10 named Lord Beerus. Uh, he's a cute bunny player, and this card is super strong. I can't even stress it out. I haven't, I like, I only won a few games against him and much respect nothing but respect to him and yeah this build is better with other cute bunny or garish worm builds as well and yeah that's it for the terminator now let us move on to the next axie okay full screen huh so we got the anti-aqua reptile <laughs> so with this Let's go over the card set real quick. Bone Sail with that 80 shield. Man, that is so... That's a lot of shield. Razor Bite to heal against Aquas. The Anterastus that deals 130% damage against Aquas for sure. Then the Tiny Dino for that late game devastation. Okay. So I chose this parts because it has super high shields. Like Bone Sail alone has super high shields. And in addition to Razor Bite, man, you can't kill this. You are a triple aqua or double aqua player. <laughs> but against beasts, man, beasts can defeat this reptile pretty easily with a few crits. <laughs> Usual. Yeah, so that is it for the anti-aqua reptile. It's pretty self-explanatory. Shield up, heal up, then boom boom pow, tiny dino, Serastis killed the enemy aqua. <laughs> That's it. Okay, let us move on to the next one. Kaboom. Okay, so we have the Wolgecko reptile. Okay, so this reptile is pretty super hard to kill you know what i'm saying because of that wall gecko whew, reduce damage taken by 15 percent so this axie can go midline or backline and with that scaly spear super high shields 50 combine it with a chump that's another 50 and the zero cost for the vine dagger to mitigate stuns as well so this particular build can be better I guess if um, it has like more plant parts or more aqua parts or speed or HP either, um, either would be good I think just to stall out into that late game or survive the late game itself if it is a backliner and yeah forgot to say uh, this axie can go at uh, this what do you call this again? The anti-aqua reptile can go backline or midline as well, depending on what you are countering. Okay, so back to the wool gecko reptile. Yeah, it's pretty high shields and super hard to kill. Super duper hard to kill. Like when you hit this guy with a with an incisor, the damage doesn't even go beyond 100. <laughs> That's just how powerful wall gecko is. Okay. Now let us move on to the next one. Ah, this is one of my own breeds as well. So this is the one beast move reptile. Okay, so we got pretty much solid speed here. 43. It um for my scholar, this is my scholar's reptile. Um, I suggested to put this particular reptile at the back. So you can finish off games with the chump and with the da vine dagger and sugar rush. Or if you're against up against aquas, you can go scale dart 
whichever floats your boat yeah so it's pretty self-explanatory as well you can go through shields with chomp then pocky if you're facing against another reptile or plant um, you can go chomp iguana if you're facing against aquas or you can even go you can even generate energy against aqua so this reptile is pretty good in my opinion but not that popular or i haven't seen much of these guys to be honest but yeah i included it in the video just because <laughs> yeah th this one beast move um the one beast move meta is kind of popular right now i've seen like aquas with one or two beast moves yeah i think this is gonna be valuable in the future so yeah that is it for the one beast move reptile let us move on to the next one so what do we have here okay so we have the confident reptile <laughs> not really that famous but i decided to include it as well this one is bought by my friend kuro so yeah this one is pretty hard to kill uh it has the sponge of course plus the confident that's already 100 plus shield and to add to, to that you have the scaly spear and the tiny dino to close out the games yeah this is just super backline reptile so yeah uh the other variant here is the confident i mean the tri spike one but yeah the important part is if you're gonna place it this axi in the back line it should have a zero cost card like confident or something so it can mitigate stuns as well so yeah that is it for the confident reptile okay let us move on to the next one there you go we have the sneaky raid reptile okay so i think there are many variants of this reptile but this one is super strong in particular because in the early game it can disrupt the enemy relatively early <laughs> with the venom spray double venom spray it's very strong it has nice shields as well and with the kestro for that 1v1 it's just a high damage card uh, there are probably other variants of this reptile but the most essential ingredients are sneaky raid the grass snake and the ivory chop just super strong moves so yeah that's it for the sneaky raid reptile and look it has 43 speed because of that kestrel as well so it can go can go toe to toe against beasts let's move on to that next one boom Ooh. Ooh. This is from Wolf of Dam as well. So, this is the Rosebud backline reptile. So, this is pretty interesting. As you can see here, usually Vine Dagger is just there for the zero cost potential. Like when we go back here, it's just a zero cost to trigger the chomp. Uh, yeah, zero cost trigger the chomp. Yeah, same, same. But. For this one, the Vine Dagger becomes extra useful because of this plant card, Rosebud. <laughs> Imagine that! Double the shield when comboed with the plant card. So 60 plus 40, that's already 100 shield, man. So yeah, um, this reptile, sh I'm, I'm pretty sure it goes beyond the Blood Moon and it can kill you pretty easily while surviving. Yeah, this is a very self-sufficient reptile and very strong as well. Yeah, so that is it for the Rosebud reptile. Pretty strong backliner, yeah. I wanted to have, have one of these in the future. Okay, okay, let's go. This is the famous Disable Saurus Rex. <laughs> so... AK invented this archetype. Wow. AK, shout out to AK. Okay, let's go over the parts. So speed 42, that's very important. I think this is the best speed for a reptile. I mean for a backline reptile. Because of the extra HP. And it is it is uh, a bit faster than pure beasts. So it is good. And like I said earlier, 
the Vine Dagger can combo with the Hotbutt for an easy 90 shield. <laughs> Imagine that. And aside from the shield, your horn cards and your mouth cards are gonna be disabled as well. Not to mention, you, it also has a chomp to disrupt your cards. <laughs> so, imagine facing against this on a 1v1. If you are a Terminator and you are facing against this, he can disable your chomp and your lagging. And what you gonna do? Snail shell thorny him? Man, this reptile is super strong. I think this is like tier S kind of reptile. And yeah, there are other variants of this reptile like a dusk. So it's not really a reptile anymore, but a dusk with the, sa the same moves. I think, and I think it is better than the reptile counterpart. But yeah, I believe Miski has it. Shout out Miski. Yeah. It's hard to breed now because of the mutations but overall this is a super solid reptile okay yeah so let us go on to the next one what do we have here ah my friend Yujiro so this is Yujiro shout out to young Yujiro this is his reptile I believe this is sold by Z yep it was sold by Z. Um, so yeah, this is... I forgot to mention. This is the anti-everything reptile. <laughs> okay. So, we, that being said. It reflects melee attacks. It reflects ranged attacks. So how are you gonna kill this guy? <laughs> it even has that zero cost card, Grass Snake. Wow. It's, this is just a monster <laughs> not to mention that big yak body as well so yeah you can pretty much go through your shields but you can't go through his shields <laughs> and I have noticed that Yujiro also gave it a name Aetodo I suggest Aoi Todo I mean I asked him to give it a name and there it goes Aetodo wow just a very beautiful reptile yeah, <laughs> this with a buff uh, in the tiny catapult uh, before it has like 40 attack only. Now it has 80 attack. So this guy is even stronger with a very strong close out potential. Yeah, uh, that is enough said. Okay, now, hello, hello there, Jabberwock. Okay, so this is my Axie. This is my favorite Axie of all time. Sorry, Jack. And okay, let's go over the parts. So it has 42 speed. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, uh, it is imperative for your, your reptile to have 42 speed so you can go toe to toe against beasts. And pretty tanky, 53 health. And it has this killer of a move set. So it's like a Terminator without the snail shell so it can slow it can jump go through shields leave a stun and a devastating damage my favorite card thorny caterpillar can deal absolute massive <laughs> that's pretty redundant but it speaks for itself uh, absolute massive damage against any class so when you're going up against aquas it does 122 damage with that bonus when you're going up against beasts it does 143 damage with the bonus and going up against plants and other reptiles 163 damage as a bonus yeah very strong right um like the floor damage is 122 very strong with the bonus only because i never play thorny without the bonus i mean that's why you're that's why you're getting this card for the bonus, right? So yeah. Um Jabberwock is my main backliner. <laughs> you can see many videos of him in my channel. <laughs> and he can pretty much defeat everybody <laughs> except this guy, maybe. <laughs> it's really hard to kill. And yeah. 
just a Terminator alternative because I'm not a fan of Terminators that much because they're too mainstream and they're very predictable but this one I like him a lot and yeah I love you Jabberwock <laughs> okay uh, I think Jabberwock is the second to the last set of reptiles now let us move on to the final set of reptiles boom <laughs> so this all of them all of them are my reptiles and okay let's go over the oh i think i forgot an archetype so i'm gonna just show that in my next video so we got here the shrimp reptile so this one diabolos um i have a video of him <laughs> make sure to uh, check that out so he has the razor bite the raven and the pliers plus shrimp and yeah he's good against aquas and pretty much can eliminate beasts as well with the chitin jump when they have the enemy has beast backliners yeah and the raven for the debuff so it he has 44 speed so the follow-up from jobberwalk which has 42 speed is of course the thorny caterpillar because if you don't know thorny caterpillar deals bonus damage against debuff targets so yeah uh, he's perfect he's perfect <laughs> maybe maybe not so perfect i would prefer a champ here but yeah that is it for diabolos the shrimp reptile i'm gonna do the shrimp one uh other shrimp variants in my next video okay so now Sarah, we have seraph the tri-wing god yeah because of that wing horn and ear wing and cupid <laughs> such a troll axie but pretty cool anyway uh he has three range cards so cupid um gila and wing horn those three are ranged cards so it can go against gravel ant and um, bul bulk bark this one bulwark or bulk work i don't know how to pronounce it but yeah so with the yam tank you can apply more debuffs with the gila and this one as well another debuff for some thorny caterpillar follow-ups so yeah they're perfect for my team it has 44 speed as well and jabber has 42 speed only so yeah they can pretty much apply a debuff then jabberwock can follow up with the thorny okay that's it for seraph oh uh nutcracker yeah a single nutcrack is not that to be honest it's not that good i would prefer a chomp here or an axie kiss for an all ranged build but this is what i have so i gotta um, gotta do what i gotta do yeah so this is good against tanks as well okay so now let us move on to my latest addition to my collection <laughs> reptile collection so we got tanuki uh so he is um unfortunately just 40 speed and he got a zero cost though uh so he got the spiky wing for the thorny and the chomp just to leave stuns in the early game so you can go like Winghorn, Buzzing, and Chomp for enemy tri spikers to disable their tri spike. And you can also go Horny Caterpillar if necessary. And yeah, this guy, I love him. If only he has like 42 speed, then I'll be much happier. But I gotta do what I gotta do. So yeah, that's it for Tanuki. And yeah, I think that concludes the reptile showcase. And as a bonus for the last video, ha, I forgot this build. So, this is the aqua build that I forgot in the last video. This is the Kaku Aqua. So, I think this build was pioneered by AK or Indes. I'm not really sure which one of them did it first. But this guy has 40, uh, has 54. 57 speed and the kaku for the insane bonus damage and shield as well can also mitigate stuns from terminators and such and yeah it's just a solid backliner i mean if you have zero cost you should go backline right <laughs> just kidding it doesn't apply to everything but yeah this is a very solid 
aqua that can deal massive damage against enemy beasts or even reptiles so yeah i guess that concludes this episode thank you everybody for watching and i hope you learned something and uh, if you have any questions or you want to add more reptiles to the archetype just comment down below and i will read all of your comments and it is possible that i might add them to my other video other axi archetype videos but yeah thanks everybody for watching and again my name is rolling boy please don't forget to like share and subscribe tweet tweet this video tag me on twitter rolling boy with a one instead of else and yeah i'm gonna see you guys in the next video peace Thank you.